Hey, Axel. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guy are crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, that guy. We uh, are having some fun today, in case you couldn't tell. We've been working really hard doing all kinds of tests, and um, thanks for all your input. This has been awesome. Really, the live streams have been really helpful because we get this back and forth, and then I take the live streams and take that information that you all share and uh, apply it. So this is great, everybody learns. What are we doing today? We're doing a request by one of the commenters and we're gonna open up a ton of tabs on these three machines and uh, we're gonna try to do some damage. I don't know what kind of damage will result, but we'll see. So I'm gonna open up Chrome tabs programmatically. Here is a little script. Now, right now it says repeat 10 times, but uh, just to show you what happens, I'm going to, let's comment that line out. By the way, if anybody is not familiar with this, this is called Apple Script. Not that I'm an Apple script uh, <laughs> master, but I found this on the internet. Where did I find it? Most likely this URL right here, stackoverflow.com. So if I press this, it goes, opens up the Chrome tab, and there's the Stack Overflow home. Okay, look at this question. Why has my nav toggle button no function? I'm gonna copy that URL and we're gonna go there. Oh, let's say a thousand times. Okay, I'm gonna play this and I do have a delay set so the page has enough time to load. I wonder if I can stop this. Okay, I'm gonna stop that and uh, that's the idea. The delay is there for a different reason. I put the delay in because I'm gonna be playing a YouTube video and we'll see because that's gonna drain the battery. It's also gonna be very loud in here. But before we get to the YouTube video, I'm gonna take out the delay and I just wanna open up a ton of tabs with Stack Overflow and see if it can handle that. All right, I've got this set up on all three machines here and we're on the MacBook Air M1, MacBook Pro M1 Pro, and MacBook Pro M1 Max over here. So let's uh, let's start off nice and easy with 1,000 tabs, shall we? Here we go, 1,000 tabs on each one of these machines. And let's go. They're still opening up on all of them. So let's see who's gonna finish first. I mean, this is not a race and tab opening. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how these machines behave. It looks like the MacBook Air is actually taking this pretty lightly. These two machines are struggling here, the Pro machines. Let's take a look at what's going on with the CPU and memory here. So CPU is being used. Oh! <laughs> I just got banned from Stack Overflow. <laughs> If I have any questions to look up later, I'm gonna be tethering to my phone because my IP got banned. Crap, that sucks. I got, I got booted. This is a dangerous test. I was gonna do YouTube. Should I do it? I don't know if YouTube's gonna ban me too. I'm gonna do a delay on YouTube and I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, 100. Just scale it down a little bit. Now, just because I got banned from seeing the content doesn't mean that we don't have a thousand tabs open and we still have the Stack Overflow page. It's just an error page instead of the question page. So let's see what's happening here on the CPU side. Well, not much anymore. We had some history here. There was a spike and now it's pretty calm. If you take a look at that spike on the max, that spike only came up to about halfway, relatively of course. But on the pro, that spike pretty much uh, topped out for a while and uh, maxed the CPU load. Let's take a look at the air machine and see what that looked like. There was a spike on the air machine as well, but uh, it looks like it didn't reach the top. What about memory? So on the air, Google Chrome is using almost 700 megabytes. Chrome helper GPU is using 200 megabytes and a couple of other helpers that are pretty small, but there's a bunch down here. So this these renderers down here, they're all taking up about 30 megabytes each. I'm guessing that's for each of the tabs. Let's see on the Pro machine, 843 megabytes for Chrome. So bigger, a little bit bigger, not much. And we got a bunch of helpers. Now some of these renderers are much bigger on this machine. Not sure why. They're 60 megabytes each instead of 30. And by the way, the Air is using some swap. It's using 27 megabytes, so pretty insignificant. And it's also using a total of 8.24 gigabytes of RAM out of the 16 available, whereas the Pro machine is using 15.32 gigabytes of RAM. So almost two times the amount. 
And the Max machine is using 18.74 gigabytes of RAM, so just a bit more than the Pro. Interesting. I wonder why the M1 is using so little RAM compared to the other machines. I don't have anything else running besides Chrome. All right, so I was banned from Stack Overflow. I do have some pages open, and uh, that could maybe the difference between the different tabs. Yeah. Yeah, it could be that the tabs that have the content are 60 megabytes and the tabs that don't have any content, the error pages are only 30. So that kind of broke my test. Okay, I'm gonna close Chrome on all these and it is a little bit sluggish to even close all machines. Let's open up just a single tab. We're gonna try that YouTube test and hopefully I won't get banned from YouTube because that would be pretty bad. How am I gonna upload any videos? I put a delay in. I'm doing this a hundred times and I'm opening up a YouTube video. Let's go. Oh, oh, and it's a Linus Tech video. My goodness, it's getting a little loud over there. Let's try it over here now. Linus needs more views, folks. That's why we're, uh, we're helping him out here. Now this machine. <laughs> I hear Linus screaming in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are we up to here? I don't even know how many tabs we're up to now. It's getting pretty loud in here, folks. Let's take a look at the temperatures, okay? 60 degrees on the M1 MacBook Air, 70 degrees. The fans are off on both of the Pro machines. So we still haven't kicked off the fans, even though we're playing all these videos. At some point, the noise should just become very even. And we should just get nice white noise going on, but uh, it might be a while. I can still hear Linus screaming once in a while. All right, folks, something happened over here. Let me turn this down a bit. Okay, so it looks like the M1 Pro just hit a roadblock. The air is still opening up the videos and playing them, but the M1 Max has really just given up. And uh, not the machine, but I think I've hit some kind of YouTube blocking service thing. Kind of what happened to, uh, on Stack Overflow, where it just puts up Instead of playing the video, it now puts up a thumbnail and that's it. So it doesn't automatically play the video for me anymore. So we probably playing a good maybe 50 videos on each one of these machines at this point. And it still keeps opening up new pages for YouTube and loading those, but it's not playing those videos anymore. So we see a big difference now in the, f in the temperature of the M1 Pro machine and the M1 Max. So the Pro Machine, the 14 inch, is at 94 degrees Celsius and the fans are spinning at 2400 RPM. Whereas on the 16 inch M1 Max machine, the fans are off and we're at 68 degrees. We're at 83 degrees on the air machine. Okay, now the air machine has hit that, uh, that wall. Oh, I hope YouTube didn't block me. That would just suck. I got tabs still opening up on all these machines. It looks like the hottest machine is this 14 inch M1 Pro machine. Wow. And we've got an error message now on the M1 Max, folks. Let's take a look at the memory and the CPU here. So the CPU is not showing much action. Memory is, memory used is at 32 gigabytes now. So yeah, this is gonna be a memory intensive task because it's opening up all these videos and all these tabs in Chrome and those are going to be eating up a lot of memory. So that's what's going to be maxed out, not the CPU in this case. Although the videos playing should kind of use the GPU, but I'm not seeing that used at all. So it's kind of a weird test, but we are seeing that the temperature difference between these machines, and that's really interesting. The memory on the M1 Pro 14 inch is at 27 gigabytes right now. And let's take a look at the M1 Air. Here we're using 14 gigabytes and one gigabyte of swap. First time I've seen um, swap usage this high on the M1 Air. I guess this is that kind of test. I was hoping to see significant battery drainage, but it doesn't look like that's happening. Not with this test at least. Let's see if I can even go to a different YouTube page and uh, if it shows me any video. And it is very sluggish. Here's another Linus video. It's not playing automatically for me anymore. And when I press play, it just kind of uh, not playing. Audio render error. Please restart your computer. I don't think it's an audio render problem. I think I'm gonna quit Chrome. So I press to quit Chrome and it's not closing. 
<laughs> this is what happens when you uh, when you ask a programmer to do your benchmark tests. You're actually gonna crash stuff. All right, I've managed to close YouTube now. Let's go back to that video and please play. <laughs> Well, at least the ad shows. YouTube cares enough about me to show me the ad. Yes, the video is playing. I'm not banned. Let's go to Stack Overflow and see if I'm banned. I'm banned from Stack Overflow, folks. How am I gonna do my work now? All right, so on the air, I got this crazy error, which is pages unresponsive. I'm gonna wait or should I exit? I think I'm just gonna exit that one page. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. That one tab gave me this error. The rest are still kind of playing. Wow. There are a lot of tabs that are still actually just playing the Linus video. So that's pretty incredible. And that's on all these machines. Even the MacBook Air has managed to keep up. So yeah, folks, there you go. If you're gonna be doing a lot of browsing and a lot of video watching, the MacBook Air is just fine for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you found this video entertaining or educational, probably more entertaining than educational, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. We'll get back to business in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.